Well, there's a group of local students. They've assisted at drug take back events every year, and this year they help to inspire the DEA to add vaping products to the items that can be collected. Making it happen is made up of middle and high school students from the greater Manchester area. They're active in educating the public about the dangers of youth vaping. The DEA announced today it will collect vapes and cartridges at take back events following concerns that have been raised nationwide. The agency the agency says it cannot accept devices with lithium batteries. Those must be removed ahead of time or taken to a store that will recycle them. E-cigarettes are a much bigger problem because one, they're so secretive and two, much more addictive. And so that's why having them available to bring to drug take back day is, I feel, such a very good idea. Having drug take back take in the vapes and everything, it's really helpful because we can get them off the streets and we can get them out of principal's desks. That's what I heard recently. Drug, pay, drug Take Back Day will be held at more than 100 locations all across the state on Saturday, October 26. Those students, they have their own event called Vaping Unveiled. That will be a few days later on the 29th at Manchester West High School. Live in the studio, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.